In this video, I'll show you how to import Photoshop gradients into Affinity Photo. Let's get started. So there's a wonderful place that you can go to talk to other Affinity users about questions or tips that you have, and that place is the Affinity Forums. A while ago, I was looking around on the forums for any tips and tricks that people have discovered when I stumbled on this post by the user Bolikov. Bolikov created a way that we can take any Photoshop gradient file and convert it to be used in Affinity Photo. I just thought that this was so cool because there are so many great free gradients that you can get for Photoshop, but they use a different file type to Affinity, so we can't directly use them until now, so I want to walk you through this process. Step number one, let's find some beautiful and free Photoshop gradients. The website that I found for this is called Resource Boy, and I'll leave a link to it below this video. You can choose any of these gradient packs, there are so many. I'll just click on this one, and then you can click here to download it for free. With that downloaded, go ahead and unzip the file, and then you're ready for step two. Step number two is to go to the website that Bolikov created and upload the Photoshop file. It will convert this file into an Affinity file. There's all our beautiful gradients. Just go to the bottom and click here to download the palette. And now we're ready for our last step, step number three. Go into Affinity Photo, then go to the Swatches panel, click on the hamburger menu, and then go down to Import Palette. I'll import mine as an application palette so that I can use it anytime I open up Affinity Photo. Then I'll just click on the Affinity file and I'll press Open. And just like that, we have all of these beautiful gradients that we can use. I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool, just so we can quickly see what some of these look like. So nice. And now you know how to import Photoshop gradients. A big thank you to the user Bolikov on the Affinity Forums for creating and sharing this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.